Hey guys, Molinate here, and today I'm going to show you how to make these uh, cool floating platform thingies. Um, you can use them in several different ways. You don't need them with the bounce pads. Um, this is just a. This is actually like a little sneak preview of my new level. Um, I'm not a great creator, but it's got some nice. Nice little gameplay bits. Dun -dun -dun! Sneak preview. And um, <laughs> obviously, you can use this however you want. This little technique I'm about to show you. Let's go over here. Um, I'm not sure why this is here already, but it is. And if you have a preview mode, you can see it is just moving up and down via a piston. Now, if I pause this, um, this thing is an anti graphic gravity thing and is not necessary therefore I do not know why it is on there but it is actually on there on all of my ones probably adding more thermometer space than is needed but never mind <laughs> um, so what you start off doing is you just get the material you want to use and um, I'm going to stick it on grid just for this little bit here um, just make it about that length um, and then I did was cutting the corners a little bit uh, you don't have to you can use whatever design you want and I now rem remember why I had the anti-gravity thing is I just stuck it on while I was messing around doing all this bit and now what you want to do is get some dark matter and turn off the grid mode so you can make it disappear it was very small, it disappears, which is quite handy. Um, and I did not make it small enough. Therefore, shrink. There we go. Now, if I switch grid mode back on and select this, to just stick it somewhere where it's easy for me to use, and grab myself a piston. Um, to make sure it's upright, and that should all be fine there. And then what you want to do is get rid of excess, excess, is that how you pronounce the word? I think it will do. Um, you want to get rid of as much of the dark matter as you can because, um, and I'll show you here on this one, you can land on it. Um, I'm not sure if you can on this one because I did make it quite small. Um, no, that, that should do. And then just make the piston a little bit bigger. Um, that should do. I'll make it a bit faster. Um, increase that a little bit. And that's about the same as my other one. And now what I want to do is create a little hologram. So just make that roughly the same size as your thing, your floating platform, um, and then, oh, move that out of the way so I don't capture any dark matter or anything, uh, just capture that as an object, and get an emitter, pause it so you can stick it on easier, eat more easily, and um, just make sure it's in the same layer, of course which I'm not sure I was doing before but <laughs> anyway um, just stick that down somewhere like that change the frequency to about 0.2 um, you don't want them lasting too long either so just stick that quite low and you want it to expand and fade for the effect and one thing I did forget to do was make that not visible in play mode um, and let's see if that works perfect now you can just use that as a floating platform as you can see there uh, you can add sound effects to it I just stuck a couple of bounce pads on it so you can use it however you want get rid of that and you can just emit these to make little um, little bits of gameplay, exploding things, 
seven hovering, so yeah. It's just quite a nice effect, easy to do, so I thought I'd do a tutorial on it. Um, if you have any good ideas, let me know. If you've got any requests for tutorials, let me know. Um, I might make one on how to make a movie, on how to do all different kinds of stuff, so leave your comments below. Um, give this a like if you like this little effect. And I'll see you later. Bye! We'd like to say no little sack person is harmed during the playing of Little Big Planet. We'd like to say that. <clears throat>